this is kind of a shift back toward um, the accounting side. We had someone talking about they were an accountant, they weren't an economist. Well, um, that's, that's definitely my perspective. Uh, the other thing that was kind of interesting this morning, uh, did you notice the references to things that happened like yesterday? Immediate things that were going on is like, well, this happened you know, right now. Why didn't they talk about things that were going on a year ago? And why wasn't that the focus of what's going on? Okay, one of my rules is you have to be interactive, or I just I can't do that. <laughs> so why weren't they talking about things that were happening May of last year? You, you can say the PhD student that that's part of their grade. Okay, it's but part of your grade. <laughs> <laughs> So why do you think that was the case? Okay, the other thing I tell my students, uh, oh, my name is Richard Dahl, I'm an accounting professor at Clemson University, Clemson, South Carolina. Um, so one of the things I tell my students is, we're going to be here until you answer. <laughs> people weren't scared last year. Okay, people weren't scared last year. What do we have now that we didn't have last year? Information. Information. Okay. So, why is continuous reporting important to us? Things change. Things change, things change all the time. Things change rapidly. And I think that's one of the, the important things of you know, continuous reporting is we can't continue with the model that we've got of locking into this date and kind of moving forward and pretending like things didn't change. Just, I think that's just, one of the issues. Just to recap a couple that were not here. Last year we had two people from Rabiar Grace and Silji Cobb talking, and they are their clips are on their website. And both of them had uh, Blackberries, and they said every six hours or every day I get to report of my company here with this Blackberry. Just telling that things change and there is a business reason to get updated information. And, and I think that's, as an investor, you want to know what's going on, you want to know when things are up to date. Well, backing up from that, can we have continuous reporting without an adequate audit function that, that parallels that? We can't. And so, my topic this morning, I'm going to be talking a little bit about continuous confirmations. Um, because that's one of the main ways that we have to get information from third parties that's reliable and to make decisions based on that. Um, we're going to skip some of the history stuff, uh, although we could spend hours talking about this, to, but not to cut into Miklos' three hours. <laughs> you know, we've lived in a world from the accounting point of view of repetitive transactions. Um, the, the system was a black box. Uh, auditors looked at samples. And why, did, why did auditors look at samples? Because of the volume. There was a huge volume of transactions. Well, now we have technology that lets us do pretty much anything we want to. Um, the first speaker this morning, or one of the early speakers, said something like, you know, the reason that we can have these complex instruments is because of the technology. Well, but we haven't been using the technology to keep track of them from the audit side and from the investor side. And so I think we, we need to look at that. We can confirm a lot of these things uh, in today's environment. Um, Early enterprise systems were kind of isolated and were moving to a place that um, things are more linked together. You know, how many times does something have to, is something recorded in an enterprise system today, or should it be recorded? You know, once. So we have everything linked together. Um, companies in the supply chains are linked together. Okay. We have a high degree of automation, um, but we're still doing the old way of confirming things. Um, there's a company that does automatic or electronic confirmations. They've taken the model of the you know, last 50 years, or I, I guess last 80 years, and they've automated that process. But we need to look at something totally different, I think, to, to not only save my time, but reduce errors and give us more information. So we're realizing this potential